Well, here we have three Fushoas, three Akaseloviana. This new one. It looks very healthy. And here we got another one, another new one. Some leaves are kind of burned. I don't know why. So this, this, and this is one that I bought a few days ago. It is a little taller than these two, not too much, but it is not as healthier as the other ones, I believe. But. I think that this is because to this is because I, I have to plant it. Some leaves are different. I think it is not in a really perfect perfect state. But I will plant it and I hope it it will it will be better in the land here in the pot of course so I have to plant this one maybe in the front garden this one maybe I will give this to to another person and this one with the nice form I will plant it maybe in the front garden or here in the backyard So this is this are our new fishers. The owner of the nursery told told us that he struck the fruit from a fishoa that is out of fertile because it is alone in a field and there is no other fishoa around there. So he thinks that these ones will be out of fertile too and they are growing grow, grow by seed seeding. Well that's enough for now. I I just wondering if I could this leaves maybe I could do more facials. There are a lot of them here and here. A lot of them. Nice. Well just a new video to tell you that. This facial I will give it to a person who will give me pitangas. And this is what I planted the other day just a few days ago I should film it in a sunny moment here we are five pm or so this is very healthy and I will show you now the new fish shows that I planted in the front garden I think they are fine and I'm thinking about removing the roses because as you said they don't give you any food so why should I keep them but I will remove just one of them the right one this is these are the two fishers
here they will be fine I see because there is a lot of sun in the evenings and in the noon there you go the sun it is going down I love this show it's very healthy it has a lot of suns here I will try to cut one and plant in a, in a pot maybe it will grow and the other for sure is over there it's not so healthy but that's because I think that this is because the nursery owner cut the roots to give me this plant so if you cut the root of a plant it will be a bad idea so I think that here she will be really okay and I think that there is enough space because that rose will be pruned in one moment I don't know when and maybe I will put <coughs> another, another facial there. there so here we got one two and maybe another there or in the place where is now the rose here we have the pits and another rose I was thinking a lot about this I, w I was thinking about planting this that for sure up there but here I think she doesn't have, have any enough sun because seeing the rose the rose is going there to the right because I think she needs more light she's not going to the left obviously because there is a wall there and so I think I thought if I planted the fishoa there it would not be a, the, be the best possible place but well in the future maybe I will put two more fishoas one there and another there in the summer this is very very hot this, this get very very hot and in winter it is hot too I don't know if they will be protected against the frost the south, the south is there the south wall is there so maybe and there is a house there or maybe they will be protected against the frost I don't know I really don't know but there is a lot, a lot of concrete here so maybe it gets warmer and I think that in the night we'll survive so in the future I will think to decide I will have to decide if I get rid of the rose or if I just prune it a lot and put another maybe another fechoa in that corner or not or just let the space to these two ones another thing I was thinking was that if they have enough land here because here we have concrete and I, I read that the roots of the fechoa are near the surface so that's another question to me a lot a lot a lot a lot of questions but I wanted to plant them and forget about them <laughs> really <laughs> they were talking to me almost so that's enough